In the very short run, if you have a successful business, if you have discovered a cash cow, you don't need to experiment. Nothing bad will happen if you stop experimenting. But once you've atrophied and lost the capacity for experimentation and discovery and curiosity and innovation, it's very hard to get it back when you need it. So it's a very foolish long-term strategy. The trouble is it's like a, a tree falling in the middle of the night. Uh, nobody hears the, the sound of innovation or curiosity dying in your company. Uh, but it's a, it's a very bad thing to have to have happen. Well, it used to be uh, that we could uh, join a company, make a career with that company, and do the same job for many years. In today's world, people live longer than companies, and uh, also the businesses that they will manage change very quickly. So in real life, uh, ambidexterity means the ability to write with both hands. In business, it means the ability to perform, to generate cash today, but there'd be a, the ability also to as you do that, reinvent the business. That's pretty difficult. Only 2% of companies, only 2% of individuals can do that really well. The implication of ambidexterity is that we need the entire set of skills that you need across a business cycle. Uh, so as students, the message would be, make sure you get the variety in your education uh, and in your early career to build the entire set of skills because you will not be able to do one thing for a career with one set of skills.